I'm Jason Walls from QA Cafe and co-chair of the Broadband Home Working Group at the Broadband Forum, the creators of the CPE WAN management protocol that you know of as TR69. This month, TR69 is celebrating its 10-year anniversary as the premier management protocol for broadband deployments. In that time, we've moved the protocol through four revisions and have continually added interfaces and services to the CWMP data model, keeping pace with the ever-expanding market of broadband services. To ensure that TR69-enabled devices work and work well in broadband deployments, QA Cafe has been there every step of the way with the TR69 add-on for CD Router. The TR69 add-on turns CD Router into a scriptable ACS simulator, with test cases included for TR69 protocol conformance and interoperability. CD Router TR69 is also the official test platform of the Broadband Forum BBF-069 CPE certification, a rigorous testing program that lets vendors prove that their devices are fully TR69 compliant and gives service providers a benchmark to include in their RFP process. So where is TR69 now and where is it going? TR69 began as a configuration protocol targeted towards home gateways. In its early days, it was used primarily for performing firmware upgrades and initial provisioning of a subscriber's services, such as Wi-Fi networks. Tier 69 is still used for this today, but has expanded to include a host of service-specific devices, such as video set-top boxes, home and business voice devices, network-attached storage, femtocells, and more. And with proxy support added in version 1.3, nearly any broadband-enabled device can be managed by CWMP. What does the future look like for TR69? The key is the emergence of two game-changing technologies, network function virtualization and the Internet of Things, also called machine-to-machine -machine, or M2M communication. Both of these advantages change the definition of what a managed device is, particularly if its functions are spread out over multiple pieces of physical hardware, or if some of its functions are moved to the cloud. It's for these reasons that the future of CWMP is not just in managed devices, but managed services. In addition, with the emergence of the Internet of Things, we'll be looking at helping TR69 be able to operate directly on more kinds of devices with different needs. These constrained devices are poised to number in the billions, with hundreds of them in any single home. Managing and controlling these devices and the services that will use them is our next task in TR69, with its solid foundations and rigorous detailed data models. We're excited to see what the next 10 years of TR69 will bring. Be sure to join, follow, and participate in the Broadband Forum. And let QA Cafe keep you up to date with articles, webinars, and videos at www.qacafe.com university.